Before we get started, I just want to say, if you're not subscribed and you like what you see in this video, please consider doing so. It's a huge, huge help, and a lot of people just watch the reviews and then don't actually subscribe. Uh, and, you know, I spend more than my actual job doing this, uh, so please consider um, doing that. It's a huge, huge help. Um, and also, stay tuned. On the 31st of December, I'm doing an eight-hour-long live stream to celebrate my 200 subscribers. So subscribe, and then join me there from 1 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're just going to have a good time for eight hours and be a whole lot of fun. So consider joining me there. But uh, today we're talking about a movie that I wasn't really looking forward to, but I wasn't not looking forward to. I had exactly zero expectations for this movie. Uh, but we're talking about Nightmare Alley. Nightmare Alley was released in 2021. It was written by Guillermo del Toro and Kim Morgan and directed by Guillermo del Toro. So when I go into movies like this, I, I typically don't have any expectations. So first of all, no spoilers, but the general idea is it's about this guy who becomes a carny and then he uses his carny trick to kind of try to trick this really rich man into giving him a ton of money. Uh, it's kind of complex in the way that like it works uh, and I can't explain all of it because spoilers, um, but it, it, it's kind of cool. It's slow, though, is what I will say. And a lot of movies like this are becoming slower. A lot of movies are just becoming longer for the sake of people like longer movies now. And I don't know. I, I'm. It's a little too long for my taste. That's like really the the main issue that I have was like it is a slow burn. And it's good still. Like it's still very much a good movie. It is just long, and I don't think it needs to take so much time because what makes this movie really cool is the last like half hour. And I think that there are moments in the first act that didn't need to be there in order to make the last act work. Like Willem Dafoe's character, for instance, which first of all, Willem Dafoe was really, really good in this movie, but he basically sets up the end of the movie, right? He, he, he does this thing, he's like, this is what you don't want to become, blah, 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 blah. And then it kind of comes full circle by the end of the movie. But I don't think we needed all of it. Like, like, I feel like there's this whole circus thing that goes on and it's really cool. I think it's a really cool part of the movie. It's really good by itself. I don't think it particularly pertains as much to the, the second half of this movie. I think that we could have gone a little bit quicker in the beginning uh, to get to the end, or we could have gone a little bit quicker in the end uh, because of the beginning. So I don't know. Either way, something needed to be cut, and it's hard to tell which what thing should be cut because it's all really good. It's all really good stuff. It just feels a little slow. I think the whole, um, uh, what's her face? The whole person who's, who's uh, I why can't I remember her name? The, the psychiatrist at the end uh, for, the, for the second half of the film. Uh, her part did not need to be as big as it was. She could have just been a psychiatrist that gives them information. That's all it needed to be. Uh, it kind of developed more and more, but I don't think it needed to be. Uh, Bradley Cooper and uh, is it Ru Rooney Mara. Uh, they play this couple in the movie and they are fantastic. Uh, Bradley Cooper is not somebody that I always think of as being a good actor. I don't know why, but he is really good. Like he's one of the best in the game right now. I just never think about him. Like when I think about my favorite actors, I'm like, oh yeah, Timothy Chalamet, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, and I, just, I never, Bradley Cooper's never one that comes to my mind, uh, but he is extremely good in this movie. He's probably the reason why you should watch this movie, honestly. Uh, Del Toro's directing is beautiful. I mean, it is beautifully shot. The cinematography is gorgeous. The dark tones in the movie actually look good and it's hard to make dark look good in a movie. It really is. Like, trust me, as somebody who has seen so many movies that are just washed out by darkness, um, this is a really, really nice way of doing it. It's pretty, the colors are nice, and the, the black and the dark really do like help transcend the colors in this film. And I really appreciate that from somebody who watches a lot of really dark movies and like hates it. Uh, so that was really nice to see. Um, and really, it's the characters that drive this this film, and I think the ending shows that. Uh, the ending is really cool. Um, and in typical Del Toro fashion, it's all men are kind of garbage, um, and that's understandable. Um, it's cool. It's a really cool film. Like, I walked out of the film, and somebody, one of my coworkers was like, so what'd you think? And I was like, it was cool. Like, it's, that's like my initial reaction was like, oh, the ending was like worth the wait. Like, it's worth the two and a half hours before it. Um, but it didn't need to be two and a half hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Spider-Man No Way Home needed to be two and a half hours. Um, this did not, I think, need to be two and a half hours. Um, this probably could have done it in, in maybe even under two hours, honestly. Um, but it is really, really good. I do recommend you see it. It is like a really good film. I don't think it's gonna win any awards, like any big ones at least. Like, I don't think it's gonna win Best Director. I don't think it's gonna win Best Picture. Um, there's just too many good movies that came out this year, but it is very good and honestly, 
it's probably one of my favorite Del Toro films that I've seen. To be fair, I haven't seen a whole lot of them, but I do think it is probably towards the top. Uh, and I think a lot of that does have to do with, uh, with Bradley Cooper, honestly. And Willem Dafoe as well was really, really good in this film. Although his character just didn't seem as super necessary until the last like five minutes. And I was like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys thought, but I'm gonna go ahead and give Nightmare Alley a B plus. Have you guys seen Nightmare Alley? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about it. Um, I think a lot of people are going to like this movie and a lot of people are going to really hate this movie. Um, I'm kind of in the middle. Like I still, I still like it more than I hate it. Um, there's just parts that I just didn't really enjoy. Uh, the blood and the gore is really cool. I forgot to mention that. There's some cool gory scenes that are in this movie. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a good movie. I probably won't watch it again anytime soon, but it's good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And once again, please, if you have not subscribed, consider doing so. Um, I just, I love doing this kind of thing. I just, I need to make sure that it is, you know, it's worth the time. <laughs> it's like, I need people to understand that, like, when you watch these kind of things, it does take time to do. Like, it took me two and a half hours to go to the theater. It costs money to go to the theater. And then also to come back and then have to film and edit this upload and upload this video. I mean, it just takes a lot of time. And I feel like people just watch the reviews and they don't really think about what goes behind it. Um, so consider subscribing. You don't have to, but consider it. Uh, it's a huge, huge help for me. And again, it's December 31st. You're not going to want to miss it. Um, it's going to be 1 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, so definitely consider showing up for that. But until then, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.